black. We'll plow that snow flurries down in Florida. How about that? Good, good. Looking back over my shout out cards, there's Mike Brown and Ron F. I guess they deserve one more shout out. And this guy here, I just watched one of his videos. He's putting together a plywood boat. I want to do it. I want to do a plywood boat now. And then this girl, I put her name on there, and it's supposed to be without a T. Her name's so long it wouldn't fit. And that was the punchline. I put a T. So we need to uh, amend that little guy. Now it won't fit. On my checklist, we can go ahead and take off banisters. Well, banister. And we can take off loft carpet. And ceiling covering. Okay, under my checklist, here is the $2,500 uh, estimate dried in price. If we turn this over, we can go ahead and add up the rest of the receipts. And here again is my 3D moon picture. Let me say go ahead and draw it again. I've got it on the back burner. Hang in there. Seventeen, sixteen, twenty-one, twenty-five hundred. Forty-two, sixteen, twenty-one, four thousand two hundred sixteen dollars and twenty-one cents so far. She also spent eleven dollars on curtain fabric, so we'll add that into uh, something about. 42, 27, 21. So, so far, this is episode 16, $4,227.21. Look, if you're wondering where did I buy my materials, I've been to Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace, A4 Lumber. And I got my uh, vinyl at an independent vinyl dealer. I went there twice. Once for the vinyl, once for the soffit. That's these receipts. I've been to 84 Lumber once. The rest is all in this stack right here. I guess that's my tally so far. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30 times to Home Depot. 3 times to Lowe's. 6 times to Ace. 1 times to 84 Lumber. Got some vinyl somewhere else. Craigslist and Echo Relics. Twice, possibly 3 times. Now this is Tiny House Dweller making Tiny House Calendar. A tiny calendar for the tiny walls. And if we pan down to the floor, she's got almost half the year done right there. You know what? I'll take pictures of each individual month so you can see them better. High quality. Here I have some more cedar two befores, and I've got one already inside. And we're about to make a ladder that goes up to the loft. That's going to be about the angle it runs. Two of those and some rungs. We need a level cut on the bottom of the ladder so I can sit down on the floor. You just missed out on about 10 minutes worth of sanding. Sorry about that. Up next, we're going to lay out for the rungs. They're going to be about one every foot, and they're going to be about 16 inches wide, and they're going to be on this angle, so that when we set the ladder up, they'll be level. That's next.
Now I've got a marking device that's cut on the same angle that the rungs are going to be at. Come with me. So the rungs of this ladder, they're going to be 16 inches wide. So we'll mark 16. Something like that. From the floor up to the loft. So up here at the top of my ladder I got these two brackets. And I'm going to open this bracket up a little bit more angle to it. And then up on the other side of that tube before it's going to bend down and grab the tube before. With the bracket screwed on I've got my that angle again. I'm going to bend these brackets till they get to that angle, somehow. Both brackets have been bent. Now I'm going to bend this one down to hold onto that tube before. Let's mark it and we'll go put it in a vise and beat it with a hammer. Right there. That's part of the way done. Looks good to me. We've got brackets. Oh, and if you're wondering where that fur came from, if you look down there, there was a whole pile of it. Now there's just a little tiny bit, just a tiny bit left. Right over here we've got my can crusher. And there's the dune buggy. And there's my boat project with homemade boat motors. All these projects on hold because of Tiny. But it's worth it. Should be the last time moving this little baby. Check letter off the list. Nice. As the rain falls on the roof, here are some of the oldest girls' sketches. Yeah, that's enough. And here we have the atomic clock. This is how we know when to publish at exactly 7.45 Eastern Standard Time. Next week, we should do a shout out for the first 20 commenters. I guess that'll be episode number 17.